Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone watching this video. So Hi. today, Imits and I present about our OP group work. This project required us to develop a food ordering system using Python that will enable sellers to advertise their food as well as buyers to order and pay for it. For starters, we came up with the name Unity Food and Beverage for our program. I would like to go over the system that we developed in detail using the example that is illustrated on this slide. Supposedly, the user is now a vendor who wants to use our system to sell ABC, Maggie, and Tendon. The first step for the user is to launch the system. After the system has been launched, it will prompt the user to choose whether he is a seller or a buyer, where the user has to input seller. Since the user is a new seller, he or she has to create an account by inputting the user ID and password of their choice. After creating a user ID and password, the seller, sorry, the user must input their store information, which includes store name, address, operating hours, and a brief description of their business. Uh, upon completing the registration process, the user will be redirected to the seller login function again, where they have to login again. So once to log logged in, the seller's option menu will be shown. The seller can choose the option they want the system to perform by inputting the numbers allocated for the options. Options available are amend store details, add new beverage, amend beverage details, remove beverage, and log out. For example, to add ABC to the menu, the user has to input 2. By inputting 2, the system will prompt the user to provide details of the new beverage. Here, the user can input ABC details such as name, price, and a brief description of it. Thereafter, the user will be redirected to the seller's option menu. The user can now add Chindol and Maggie with the exact steps they used to add ABC. In case user wants to remove Maggie from the menu, they can do it by inputting 4. When 4 is inputted, the system will ask to input the name of the food that has to be deleted. Here, user can input Maggie to be deleted. If there is a situation to change the price, user can input 3. After inputting 3, the user can key in the beverage name that has to be changed. To change the price of ABC, all they have to do is input ABC followed by price and the new price. So what if the user relocated his store? No worries, user can choose the option amend store details by inputting one. Then they can input the details that need to be changed. So for address, they have to input address first followed by inputting their new address. Okay, so to log out, user can input five. After logging out, user has to put in input seller followed by queue to quit the, to quit the system. Okay, moving on to case two, which is a new user, Najwan, who wants to uh, purchase two units of Rojak. And basically, to purchase, he has to put uh, input buyer. Since Najwan is a new customer, he should create an account by entering a valid username and password. Uh, after creating an account, Najwan has to log into his account by re-entering uh, re his username and password. After logging in, Najwan has to choose the store he wants to purchase from. Uh, next, Najwan has to choose the beverage, which is Roja, by inputting Roja and the quantity he wishes to buy. Uh, finally, Najwan will be uh, redirected to the payment method page where he can select his preferred payment method.
Now, my team, uh, my team members, Mohamed and Najwa, will demonstrate the coding process for this system. Thank you. All right. Thank you, um, Hazik. So now let me share my screen. All right, so my name is Mohammad, and now I will I will run the code live to demo that our code is working for the seller part. Where after I will pass it to Najwan, where he will run a live demo for the buyer section. All right, so now I'm gonna run the code, which is the main function body known as main. All right, so are you a seller or a buyer? I am a seller. Are you a new seller? Yes, I am. Then please create a username. So what username should I be using? Yeah, I think I'll be using the username. M4D. So please create a password. M-U-H-D shift at 0429. All right. So please enter the store's name. All right. So my store name, I wish it to be Mutt. Kitchen. And then please enter the store address. My store is at 34A Jalan Gomba 51000 KL. Please enter the store's operating hour. My store operating hour is 10 in the morning. till 8 in the night. For our system, we prefer using the 24 hour system for times. La. All right, so please enter the store operating day. My, my store will be open from Monday all the way to Thursday for every week. All right, so it's time for me to input a store's brief introduction. Mark's Kitchen is a kitchen. Pass it down for 50 years. So it has a bit rich history. All right, so time for me to re-log in. So what's my ID again? M4D, yeah. And what's my password? M-U-H-D, shift at 0429. All right, so I successfully logged in. Which option do you wish to perform? Yeah, I think I'll add my dishes in first. So it will be option two, add new beverage. So add the new beverage's name, ABC. The current price will be two ringgit and 50 cents. Write the brief introduction for the dish. It will be shave ice, serve with sweet condiments and now i'll be adding the famous maggie loved by all the price will be five bucks and please enter a brief introduction food favorite dish of Relations. All right, and the, for the last dish, I will be selling Chendo. Chendo will have a price of three bucks. And then the brief introduction will be taste even better during a hot day. All right, so I've added all my dish. All right, so, oh, there's a problem now. Uh, we ran out of uh, ingredients for Maggie, so I will be inputting the function for, which is um, deleting a dish. So Maggie will be inputted, and yeah, I deleted Maggie. So then, oh yeah, 
I found out that my ABC price is lower than Chendol, which is um, which isn't supposed to be like that. So I will have to change the ABC's price. So I will input function tree, which is amend food details and which beverage is to be amended. I will input ABC. Which part do I wish to amend with that will of course be the price. So the old price was 250. I think I'll be changing it to four bucks. All right, so I changed the price and finally. Uh, my store, I think uh, I plan to move it from Jalan Gomba, so I will amend my store details. So the part which needs to be amended would be the address. A D D R E S S. So please enter the store's new address. All right, it will be 24B. Jalan Kuching. 51,000 KL. All right, so then since all have uh, my I, the, I, 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 actions I want to perform is done, so I will just log out. So am I a seller? Yes, I'm a seller. So if I want to quit, I will just input it by uh, inputting Q. All right, so I think that's all for my part. So let's have a look at the output. All right, so as you can see here, I'm welcoming to enter my system and I will be directed to the seller sign up. The registration is commencing and it's completed. Then login was successful. I added a new beverage. This beverage is the one known as ABC. This would be Maggie. This would be Chendo. And then I successfully eradicated the dish known as Maggie. I amended the details for ABC, beverage successfully amended. And then I initialized the store detail amending sequence, which I used to amend the address. And I have also concluded the store detail amending sequence. And then I initialized the logout sequence. Here I can see my store details, store name, Mark's Kitchen, store address has been the new one, 24B, Jalan Kuching KL. Operating days, operating hours, and about store. And for my beverage list, my menu would be ABC, four bucks, shaved ice served with sweet condiments, and also Chendol, three bucks, tastes even better during a hot day. All right, and then I completed logout sequence and I chose to leave the system. Thank you for your patronage and please visit again soon. All right, so that's all for my part. I think I will pass it pass now for Najwan to demonst live demonstrate the buyer part. Najwan, it's your turn. Uh, okay, thank you for the presentation, Muhammad. I will share my screen right now. Okay, so it's supposed to be recording. And so it's supposed to show my screen. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, we are met with the prompt up here, which asks, uh, are you a seller or a buyer? So in my case, uh, we are going with buyer. And then uh, it asks, it continue to ask you, are you a new customer? And since uh, this is theoretically our first time using this app, so uh, yes. And then uh, so this part, it asks you to create a new account. So you need to enter a new username and also a new password. So enter a valid username. Let's just go with Najwan uh, and some. And then uh, it also asks you to enter a valid password. So let's go with one, two, three, four. And then so this uh, part, it will ask you to re-enter your username and also your password that you just created just now to log in into your new account. So our username just now was Najwan Handsome. And then the password was one, two, three, four. So uh, it has uh, the successful login. 
So now it asks you to enter the number of the store that you want to purchase from. So according to the, uh, what do you call that one just now? Uh, to the example that we were given just now, uh, we chose store number one to buy the Roja. So you can just simply enter one there. And then enter the name of the beverage that you want, the thing that you want, which here, which was supposed to be Roja. Roja. So over here, uh, you can enter how much of the Roja that you want. So let's say I am very hungry today. So I want uh, nine units of Roja. No, let's say 10, 10 units of Roja. So next is choose the method of payment, uh, either one or two. One is the, uh, what is that? Cash on delivery, COD. And also the second one is uh, using uh, the bank card. So we'll choose number two. And so here we'll uh, prompt that you enter your card number. So let's say our card number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that is all. So let's see the output. So the output over here, welcome buyer. This one uh, was when we entered uh, the, uh, we are a buyer. And then you will need to sign up because we were a new customer and uh, it entered the new buyer registration uh, mode. And so when our login was successful, it will output the login was successful. And then it only after the login was successful, will it uh, show all the stores that were inputted inside the program. So here there are store one, store two, Nurin, Nurdin, Roja, and also Mask Kitchen. So since uh, we chose store number one, it will uh, show uh, the beverage uh, that is in Nordin uh, Roja. I think, I think you should click the in a text editor that will display the full output. Scroll up a bit. Uh, yeah, in the text editor. Yeah, click that. Uh, now you will see the full output, so you may proceed. Oh, wow. OK, sorry. <laughs> Since this is a new time for me also, so OK, uh, proceed. So beverage, num uh, beverage is Roja 5 ringgit, uh, a noodle based uh, dish that Indians prefer. And so since we order Roja and quantity 10, so and each price is 5 uh, ringgit. So the total that we have to pay is 50 ringgit. And so please pay the total amount. So the method of payment that we chose was bank card. And so 50 ringgit have been deducted from the card number 1234567891. And uh, it ended the program. Thank you for your patronage and please visit again soon. Okay, so that's all uh, of, from our team. So I hope all of you, uh, all those who watched this video had a great time listening to our video. And once again, I thank you all uh, for watching this video.